Hello and welcome to this channel. A couple of months ago, Google announced the project IDX. They were working on this project for some time and they finally announced it in the Google I.O. a couple of months, months ago. This is the web-based development workspace from Google. Inside this, you can develop your application fully on cloud and it supports lots of languages, including Flutter. So we are going to see what we can do with this IDX. So first you need to log in and sign up for this service using your Google account. And then inside the Flutter, if you, we click on the Flutter, we can create a new app. So we name this app and then we create the app. So it takes some time to organize and set up your workspace and environment. So we are going to wait until this happens and once we have the environment ready, it's going to build the environment automatically. So just right now, you see it's going to execute the Flutter application and then it's going to show you some messages like VS Code IDE extension uh, uses the Google Analytics you say OK, and it's building the application in the background. Now you can see on the right side there is a new tab called Web. And it's going to render your application, the default application of Flutter in web. And on the left of web, we have Android. If we click on Android, it's going to open up an Android device. So basically, this is the virtual Android device that we launch in Android Studio. And they have this on cloud. So basically, this is very similar to Android Studio just on the cloud. So you don't need to install anything on your computer and you don't need to set up and you don't need to do any configurations. So this is very familiar. And this is basically the main area of our code. This is the same default Flutter application. It has tabs. So if, if we want to, for example, open the pubspec.yaml file, I just drag and drop this one here and we have this as a new tab on the left side we have all the projects structure the folders including the lib and including the android and of course pubspec.yaml file on the left side we have some menus if we click on this hamburger button we have file so inside the file we can create new files or we can open a file or a folder or we can duplicate the workspace. We can save it or save as, or we can share it. In the edit, we have the same options of undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, and so on. And we have other menus like selection, view, go, run, which you can use to start the debug. Then we have terminal, you can start a new terminal or new task and so on. Underneath this, we have the explore, which is the current view. Then we have a search. Here you can search for any text in the code or you can replace it. Then we have the source control. So this is where you can connect this to GitHub and you can publish it on the GitHub right away and straight from here. Then this is for run and debug. Then we have the extension. So inside the, inside the extension, you can see we have Dart and Flutter. You can also search for other extensions in the marketplace. So basically, this is just VS Code of Microsoft on cloud. So you should be familiar with this environment. Then we have the testing section and project IDX. In this section, the project IDX, we have a so, couple of Google integrations. So using this, you can straight away from here launch or, or host your web app 
with Firebase, or you can deploy to Cloud Run, and you can do lots of other integration into your application. Then inside the Flutter, we have the Flutter sidebar and then the outline. So if we go to the main.dart tab, this the Flutter menu is going to show you the outline of your application. This is going to be so helpful because inside the build function, so let's close all these and inside the uh, build function, you can see what are the widgets that you have. Like here we have the scaffold and then app bar. Inside the app bar we have a text. Then we have a center and we have a column. Inside the column we have two texts and then we have a floating action button and an icon inside it. So this is going to be so much easier when your application gets a lot more complex and you need some sort of visual guidelines to see what your widgets are what are the nested widgets and if you want to insert some widgets in a specific place this is a very helpful like for example i want to add something in the column i just click on the column and it shows me where the column is and what are the children of the column so if i add something inside the column i can verify that it works based on this nested uh, visualization so it's very helpful let's go to the keyboard shortcuts if we search for inline chat we are going to have this option to chat with gemini basically inside the workspace so this is the start chat so this one start code chat so based on your operating system you have the key to activate it so here it is command I. So let's go to main.dart and then inside the column we have a text and then we have another text. So underneath this one I want to add another text. So this one ends here. So underneath I just create a new line and I am going to press command I. Then we have a new pop-up window and this is going to be the Gemini so I'm going to write a prompt for example write a text widget with the text test and as you can see it's going to show you what this looks like then if you accept this one you click on accept then you are going to have the newly generated code right inside your application and because of hot encode this is going to be refreshed right away and you can see the test here so this is very helpful so if you want to add something right away and use the gemini as a guidance to generate your code right here inside the application you can use the keyboard shortcut to access the gemini or on the bottom you have this gemini button you can press it and it's going to open a new gemini with gemini in idx so you continue and you can directly chat inside the workspace with the gemini so if you want to generate some code you can directly ask the gemini to generate the code and you can enter the prompt so this is almost a complete workspace because if we want to test the code on ios on windows for now there is no option that we can do it but for now we can you can use this to test your application on the web and on the android on the cloud and this is going to be very helpful to create a test application for example with a quick turnaround so i hope this was helpful Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.